Hey, this is Thrive. Hi, all. This is Al Kramer. Today's episode is Ancient Arrow Tests Reloaded. All right, today, guys, Thran's going to be standing at 1.1 meter from the target. This replicates the experiment that was done by Mythbusters at the request of Todd Cerebell from the University of Wyoming in Laramie. Um, he's going to be using the sharpened uh, stick, and we're going to check out penetration and uh, bleed. Let's see what this arrow did here. We've got a blood pack inside here, and we shot a hole in it. Notice how the skin tries to close up around us. We've got real meat here, and we have an actual blood pack in it, so it could bleed. We're going to pull this out and see what kind of thing we got going on here. Hard to pull out because it's a stick arrow. And we got a little trickle. Okay, we had to keep going through a lot of these because they broke a lot, and the tips were ruined just from shooting through meat. The tip gets ruined just going in. And these are hard wood, so. Alright gang, what we have here is a Native American wooden arrow head, not a sharpened wooden stiletto point. Um, Todd Cerebell and Mythbusters tested stiletto point sharpened sticks. They didn't, sh they didn't use a sharpened arrow head. As you can see, there's a distinct difference. Uh, we think that uh, Cerebell and his team probably meant arrow head. Well, I got Thrand here today. He's going to shoot a water bottle to simulate what the head would do in a fluid environment. And then we'll replicate Cerebell's test on meat with a blood pack in a moment. Wow! That's insane! Yeah, my friend that gave it to us uh, said it would perform. And he said that he's actually experimenting with them. I guess he was right. And so they dug him up. So he's the one who made it for us. That's wow. great. This is the wooden arrow head through the uh, meat medium with blood to simulate drainage and uh, going through flesh. Oh, that's so nice. I was trying to see because our blood's not working. I guess you should totally do we got the wound though. That's the whole point. That wound is there. And like yeah, it got cuts it airway. open and leaves the space. Look, there's your bleed right there. Oh yeah, there it is. It See, the wound like the is larger one. than the shaft of the arrow, which is caused by the there. arrowhead. Yes. And the sharpened stick doesn't do that. We actually, with the extra mass, it actually made a full penetration. We haven't had one of the sharpened sticks do that yet. Can we test it? Not at all. So Sharpened sticks bad. in fluid space don't work well. Well, we can see the blood loss on the camera. And I can see That's that whole nice. baby bleeding. There you go. Gnarly. We see that it... And just like the sticks, it's hard to pull out. Good. Alright, let's see what this head did. We got one about approximately the same size they used. Uh, and we got blood coming through. Yeah, that definitely uh, mirrors or replicates what happens with the gel torsos in uh, Todd Cerebell's test that he sent to Mythbusters. Uh, you get more penetration and you're exiting out the other side of your meat. It's hard to see, but we got a lot of blood here. Even in the front, come look around here. Look at this. Look at the size of that hole. The shaft is not sealing anything. Matter of fact, there's still plenty of blood in here to the rim, and we're not getting anything out of that little hole. It's already stopped bleeding. But this one, as you see, it's still oozing. Have you had a heart pumping in there? Oh, yeah. And this would be really shooting out. We've got a pretty nice size hole. You see that hole? And it's the arrow bobs. All right, this is the sharpened pointed stick against a hog's head medium. This is to simulate what would happen to a sharpened stick on bone. Yep, just like we predicted. It'll break. Yeah, yeah anytime you use a pointed stick. Lanced off down the flesh, down the bone, and just broke. All right, guys, we're going to test the wooden arrow head against a skull medium. We chose the pig's head or the hog's head, and we're going to aim for the skull and see what happens.
Ooh. I, I did some damage, but I don't think it. But the ball stopped it. It is. Damaged it. Yeah, and it broke it. Oh, man. What was his method of putting together kind of a jump shot? Yeah. I tried. Well. It would, have worked. It would work on flesh, obviously, but not on if you hit hard ball with it. I think that's it. It's not. It's not superior to a uh, lithic. No. All right, we're gonna try the lithic head now and see what this one does. This one. I definitely don't think it's gonna work here. Ooh. Big difference. I mean, we go clean through, but we've got a nice, dicey nice cut and a nice dash. All right, let's see what we got here. What we're trying to see is that this will actually cut bone. And apparently, it didn't break the uh, lithic head at all. Nice stout little head. And look at that. That cut into bone. The only reason it bounced out is because of the arrow shaft you know, it gives and it hits and it snaps back. It didn't go deep enough to actually embed itself. But that's a good all the way up to the uh, all the way up to the uh, city. Yeah, that's a store purchased arrow uh, lithic head from um... Objects Day Art. We gotta yeah. thank our friend over there who uh, helped us out with that, and uh, we we couldn't make all these in a hurry because we're not that great. But actually, I, I misquoted. I had six six and a half minutes. Which people are making ten fifteen minutes, but the professionals can make them in three minutes or less. That was in eighteen ninety that an Apache was clocked at six and a half minutes, which I misquoted my facts, in making four arrowheads in six and a half minutes. So are they worth the time of making? I think that that's an example right there. This did not break the, the uh, arrow shaft. We actually went into the bone. We'll try again in a few shots to see what we do. And the arrow's intact. This could even be reused. So this shows bone is not a problem when it comes to these arrowheads. It could even cut in between the ribs and stuff as it goes in. Whereas this might go around the rib, but oh well. We've seen that it takes much longer to make a stone arrowhead. Uh, you notice they use very little sinew, some kind of resin to hold them on there. I think they were trying to get them as light as possible so there would be very little difference between these and the actual uh, sharpened point heads because the grains actually do make a difference on the penetration. We proved it. Making a point, wood versus stone tip projectiles is written by Todd A. Cerebell and his team from the University of Wyoming. And as you can see, Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman were also listed with credits in this. Uh, this indicates to me that there's some sort of uh, allegiance here where uh, people benefited. As you can see on the TV show, Mythbusters, Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman plug Todd Cerebell on their show the same as Cerebell gives them credit in his own paper. Yeah, but I wonder what the point was to try to make people believe uh, this myth. I still don't get it. Our conclusion that the sharpened sticks are actually inferior to stone or even wooden arrow heads. Yes. I think that Todd Cerebell probably misread uh, historical accounts. If it says a sharpened point or just a wooden point, a point back in old archery terms means a arrow head. You say points, even nowadays people will say points meaning arrow head that may be what he misconstrued in his... And so he thought it meant yeah. stiletto and that's exactly. why his test is all skewed. He thought it like it meant like a pencil sharpening. Not a, so in the end we can say a, that Mythbusters are busted and we can also say that Todd Cerebell is full of crap. Pretty much, yeah. So this is our Thanksgiving present to yeah. our native ancestors who used lithics. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.